Welcome back with an update on the uh, Ruapehu volcano in New Zealand. Um, so it has some. I'm trying to get the, here we go. So volcanic the seismic unrest is continuing at low levels. Um, that's the gist on what's happening. Um, I actually probably have that for thumbnail. Okay, can we not have these pop ups? Hold on. Here we go. There's just a bunch of weird ads popping up. I don't know what's going on. Anyways. The volcanic tremor at the volcano continues at low levels over the past three months. The crater lake, Te Wai Amo, temperature has decreased from about 26 degrees Celsius in early July to fluctuate between 21 to 25 in August and September. The current lake temperature is at 23. This is a consistent with heat flow into the lake of about 150 to 200 megawatts? I don't know what MW is for this. Megawatts? I doubt it's megawatts. Um, I'm not sure what MW is for this. Anyways, available analysis of water samples from, crater, from the crater lake have shown no changes in the lake chemistry. This indicates that there has been no evidence of chemical interaction between magma and the hydrothermal system controlling the composition, lake uh, level, and temperature of the greater lake. To summarize, all monitoring data remain at back remains at background levels with decreasing potential for impending eruption. The most likely scenario of the ongoing rest is expected no eruption at all or a minor eruption within the lake. Remain, um, level, yeah, the volcanic alert level remains at 1 and color code remains at green. So with that, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.